Hi guys, it's May 27, 2019. I want to start this video by saying the reverb. I thought I had fixed it, but apparently not. And I apologize, but I do not know what to do. I listened to the video before posting. No reverb. I post reverb. Volume issues. I don't know what to do. Um, I can only post and hope for the best when I post it that it's going to come out the way I, I view it here before posting and it's it's not working out that way um, so I don't know what to do and I also want to say you know what Americans most Americans just don't know how to think you know they attack they just you, we're mean okay it, there's something wrong with Americans that they just come out with these statements and I'm not saying like I care that this person posts this video uh, this comment 714 clip included from Pentago 50 states it's flooding from 2010. I believe it's big and bad now, but to go out of one's way to include deceitful information makes you ask questions. Well, your presumption makes me ask questions about how you think. Now, I've been posting for eight years. Every time I've made a mistake, I've come out and publicly uh, stated I have made a mistake because I find that that is what one needs to do in order to maintain trust. Okay, so um, I'm not I'm not reading this comment because I care or I'm so affected by this person's comment. I am I am focusing on this because the problem is not my response. The problem is this person's way of thinking and then responding which causes tension and for anyone to write their presumption as fact you are will you will always be part of the problem never a part of the solution it is really important to think about how we think to Try to catch those presumptions that you make about other people before you spit them out and cause, well, what you've just caused. You know, look, there is like a meanness, a meanness in people where they just have to lash out at people. So, yeah, very important. Catch your presumptions before you spew them out because presumption, well, very often, it is not fact. Now, I've been posting on these floods hundreds of areas of flooding that is taking place right now. I make a mistake and I'm deceitful. I went out of my way to be deceitful in fucking sane. Yes, I am tired of it. And you guys who don't post, you have no idea what people who do post are inundated with. And it you you look at these comments, you read them and you think to yourself, "My god, no wonder. No wonder we can't get anywhere." Apartment flooding, 20, um, May 26, 2019, Texas. Texas has also been experiencing these floods. We see on radar, oh, uh, where are they doing the high frequency heating, the blowing up of these storms? Well, Texas. I didn't read down here the description. Um, 2010. Okay, why would you post a video today um, on a flooding that occurred in 2010? What's the point? And why aren't you including that in your title? You know, if you're posting on past floods, please include that in your title. 
So no, I did not go out of my way to post a few minutes of a flood in Texas to be deceitful when I have been posting on flooding that is occurring right now, hundreds of areas. Insane thinking on the part of that person who viewed my video. Insane. With that being said, the National Weather Service warns of a dangerous and life-threatening situation along the Arkansas River. Manuel Bajorquez is along the river in Barling, Arkansas, near the Oklahoma border. Manuel, good morning. Good morning. The river is expected to rise another three feet over the next several days. And already you can see just how swift the current is over what was a road here. Now, the type of flooding you're seeing here is also devastating neighborhoods in this area. Drone video shows homes and businesses surrounded by water in Fort Smith. The river is expected to crest Wednesday around 20 feet above flood stage, breaking a record set in 1945. Potentially catastrophic flooding is expected in some areas. Near Barling yesterday, two Army Corps engineers assessing a dam had to be rescued by helicopter after they were trapped by the rising waters, which are also putting stress on dams and levees. Barling police officer James Breeden told us he's never seen the water this high. There's a great deal of concern about the levees holding up. There is a concern about the integrity of the levels. They've never been tested to this limit before. What are we talking about with the potential impact of one of those levees not holding? The potential impact is literally tens of thousands of people would be without a place to live. Uh, it would wipe out that many homes. Even after the river crests, Breeden says it may not start to go back down until possibly Friday, and then it could be weeks before it returns to its normal level. Gail? Yeah, we're looking at this continuing for a long time. Tornado, New Mexico. 30 tornadoes reported in U.S. Sunday, just for Sunday, 30. And 10 of them in Colorado. Tulsa Area Emergency Management gives update on flooding situation, Armed Corps of Engineers increased the release of the Keystone Dam to 275,000 cubic feet per second at 7 a.m. Impact will be seen in central Tulsa starting around noon today, which is, well, oh, noon right now. Well, a little afternoon. Yeah, Monday South, Tulsa uh, County later this afternoon. They're going to continue this release until Thursday. Residents who live near Levy A and B should already have evacuations in place, bus transportation. Via Tulsa Transit has been arranged to help residents who want to self-evacuate. What the hell is self-evacuate? Meaning voluntary as opposed to mandatory? I don't know. So the buses will run from 11 a.m. to midnight tonight. Yeah, a lot of areas are evacuated. Soaked areas of Oklahoma and Arkansas are forecast to receive more rain, increasing flooding concerns along the already swollen Arkansas River, Van Buren, and Fort Smith. Look out. Catastrophic flooding. Augusta, Montana. Health News Now, Peerview Health has partnered with Intermountain and East Helena Public Schools to open up a new clinic for East Helena. The new what clinic will provide medical, mental... What is this? And you know what? Lately, there's like no way to turn off a video. So hang on. Here it is. Augusta, Montana. Sack, she joins us live from Augusta. Katie, you're on a road that's closed right now. What's going on? 
can add Montana Highway 21 to your list of roads that are going to be closed. Five minutes outside of Augusta, MDT tells me that, you know what, they had to shut it down this morning when I showed up. They came through and they saw what it looked like. I mean, let me tell you, it's literally like an ever-flowing stream from this side of the road all the way to the opposite side of the road. And it looks like there's, you know, some farms and a lot of grass area around me. And that's all completely just flooded. You know, deer are coming in, animals are coming in, thinking that this is a river, a pond. And volunteer firefighters, Augusta volunteer firefighters, they say that, you know what, hey, we have sandbags for you. Now, last night they said that they uh, finished packing 20, 27,000 empty bags and 15 loads of sand for people to take for free if you need sandbags. Now, as of this morning, they said, well, we're going to see what it's like this morning if they need to continue to pack up and pack up more sandbags, that is. And, but let me tell you, well, you can just see that the rain's still coming down. This water's still flowing. People in town say, hey, you know, this has been worse, they think, than last year back when the rodeo got uh, had to get rescheduled and canceled because of the flooding that happened. So we will keep you guys all morning long and throughout the day with information online and in our later newscasts. Live in Augusta, Katie Tursek, Wake Up Montana. Okay, Katie, you be safe out there. And I hear you when you say that they're used to it because they got it last year. But if anyone watching us in Augusta this morning, please stay safe safe. We're thinking about all of you right now. Katie, thank you. Celebrating with the parade. Man. Wake up Montana's Bradley Warren. He joins us right now with the details on that parade. You know, have you noticed that on some of these news sites, you cannot stop the video? Can't stop it. Piqua, uh, severe storms, damage area. Residents in Piqua are spending Memorial Day cleaning up after severe storms hit the uh, Miami, Miami, <laughs> Miami, Miami, I think that's how you pronounce it, in Oklahoma. Man, be ready, afternoon storms could produce a strong tornado. Wow, so where is this? Where is this? Oh my God. Okay, more severe storms and tornadoes around 4 p.m. The threat will be centered in the northern half of Illinois. Possibly, possibility of a few strong tornadoes. A strong tornado is classified with winds over 111 miles per hour. And only three in 10 tornadoes ever mature to this stage. Cities most at risk, Quad City, Sterling Rock Falls, Princeton, Rockford, DeKalb, Chicago. Yeah. Scott County Emergency Management says, be prepared for flooding. Where is this? This is in Illinois. Cost of buying out flood prone homes. I have posted videos, and all you have to do is go to my playlist, weather modification playlist, geoengineering playlist, and you will see videos. My showing, FEMA goes in, they buy out those flooded homes for pennies on a dollar. It's the reshaping of the United States in accordance with Agenda 2030 the mega regions, five billion dollars have been spent to buy out tens of thousands of properties that are susceptible to flooding over the past three decades. Uh, and guess what? They plan on spending more after the waters recede and especially in areas where there is repeated flooding that they cause, yes, with the fabulous technology that man has, uh, causing uh, these uh, floods. And people get so sick of the repeated flooding. So many people, oh, uh, the noise. Um, why is it that people like to uh, 
do things to their cars to make them really loud. Anyway, yeah, FEMA. Whew. They buy out not just homes, whole towns. And when they buy them out, the condition, you can't build structures on those lands. It's one of the methods to get people out of those gray areas. I've shown the America 2050 map over and over again. So if you do not know what I am talking about and are interested in finding out, do further research. America 2050, go to my playlist. You'll see all of the videos that I have posted. Yeah. You know, I also have people leaving comments. What are you talking about? Why aren't you making it clear? Um, when I've said, please go to these playlists so that you can understand, if you don't understand, and no, they'll just say, you know, they'll ask me to do the work for them. I, you get tired of this, all right? You really do. You have so much going on on a daily basis. And I guess, you know, I, I don't even have the full picture of what is taking place with millions and millions and millions and millions of Americans right now, whether it's the economy, whether it's the flooding, whether, you know, it is um, they losing their homes, jobs. Then you have all of the people who say, that it's not happening, that the economy is just great, and Trump is fabulous, and, you know, it's like living, yeah, it, I can't, the insanity of what we are living, it just is, it, it does break you down sometimes. So here, this year's Record flooding in the Midwest and Plain States could add even more buyouts to the queue. <laughs> wow, man. Uh, purchases are happening as the climate changes. Along rivers and seacoasts, some homes, once considered at little risk of flooding, are now endangered due to water that is climbing higher and surging further inland than historic patterns predicted. And it doesn't matter how much evidence you provide that everything is just a friggin' lie. People love the lie. They'll stick with the lie. Here, here we go again. Is latest spate of tornadoes a new normal? Everything's a new normal. Flooding, new normal. Fires, new normal. Tornadoes, new normal. And what, what, what do I see? Oh, man, I highlighted this, and the highlighting went off of it. Um, nope, sorry. Had to go down. Putting politics and personal beliefs aside, as to the cause of global warming, most scientists have zero doubt that it is man-made abject lie. Abject lie. And on my playlists, on my channel, I have proven that it's a lie. The only scientists who are <laughs> getting money from climate change business, those are the ones who are saying it's man-made and global warming is real and uh, the oceans are are getting higher and the rivers and the yada 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 it's all a lie and I have videos many videos proving that it's a lie and we can't get out from under the lie now I will admit yeah some of this definitely triggers my own personal stuff I couldn't get out from under 
the lies told by people in my own personal life, my family, their lies, and I see that my personal experience parallels our collective experience. So sometimes, yeah, it really gets to me. I am so sick of people believing lies, and I am really sick of people just spewing them out, whether intentionally or inadvertently with their own little mind, how they can't control it, they don't understand it, they're not aware of what's going on in their brain, so they spew out presumptions. Recent scientific work suggests that climate change in Kansas, Missouri, and elsewhere could eventually lead to thunderstorms that are wetter and perhaps more violent, flooding, as the region saw yet again over the weekend, and more droughts. Yeah, but don't ever look at weather modification. No, not going to look at that. Just going to continue that friggin' lie and say it and repeat it over and over and, and drill it into those who are already ignorant. I'm going to drill more lies into their head because they're lazy and they won't do the research to find out that man is absolutely now in control of weather. No, I won't look at that because I'm a little kid, I'm irresponsible, and that takes work, time, effort, too bad, I'm going with the lie. This is what we are surrounded with. This is the mentality of most Americans. Climate change. It's always climate change. Earth is heating up when, oh my God, how often have we heard from other scientists and climatologists and meteorologists who have come out and said, well, no, this is all untrue. Untrue. In the last 139 years, nine of the 10 warmest years on record were since 2005. The planet's temperature has increased 1.8 degrees Fahrenheit since 1901, according to the fourth National Climate Assessment released in 2018. And I posted videos on that. Fourth National Climate Assessment. You know, we have actual scientists who are uh, coming out. They review these IPCC assessments and the fourth National Climate Assessment. They've reviewed and assessed every assessment coming out of that IPCC and our National Climate Council. Yeah, that's uh, in the executive branch. branch. And Trump, the fourth National Climate Assessment, <laughs> he never, he never got rid of Obama's scientists. Interesting, isn't it? So, the National Climate Assessment is essentially the same as the IPCC's latest assessment. And many, many scientists have come out and said they're worthy of the nearest trash can. Let's take a look at what I captured uh, at about 11.30 East Coast time last night, 26th. Ooh, you like that shot? That very level, level cloud. Oh, boy. Level on two sides. These are not, this is not Mother Nature, okay? And it's unfortunate that we have so many people who just won't even, won't even consider, consider doing some research. Consider what we are saying. Look at this line. Look at, you can see the microwaves. You can see the, the, the thickening of these clouds. You can see how, yeah, this is not Mother Nature. 
how nicely defined is that cloud. And, you know, we have to live this every friggin' day. Every friggin' day. Here. Nope, not Mother Nature. Something else is involved. Hey, look at this nice cutout. Pie shaped. Oh, could it be an extremely low frequency? Um, yeah, these are frequencies involved. And Nebraska. This is Nebraska, by the way. This is Kansas. Look at how we have this nice grid pattern right here. And a nice slice from a frequency. The lines right here. No, Mother Nature does not work in grid patterns, defined lines. Look at this. You have a rectangle here. Uh, this whole thing was created by man. You can see the microwaves, you can see the extremely low frequencies, you can see it all, all right? You can see that this is not Mother Nature. Not Mother Nature. You know, and I caught something last night that, I don't know, is it some weird things taking place? All right, so you see here, you can see some geoengineering taking place. You can see some power plants uh, creating cloud, putting out the water vapor. And you can see all of the frequencies in place. So it's not just one particular method that they're using. They may be using, actually, a whole lot of different methods at the same time, along with cloud seeding and I'm not sure if what I saw was cloud seeding. Look at all of these very defined lines. No, not Mother Nature. Not at all. So, I mean, look at this. You, you go through this, you stop it down here, and I'll link below to College of DuPage. And you can go to um, these, uh, oh, I'm not on, I'm sorry, I'll show you in a moment. But look at all of these very defined lines. Um, no, this is, it's clearly not Mother Nature. No, she doesn't work like that. Uh-uh, she works in a very free-flowing circular pattern. You look at this and you're like, oh my god. Now, strange things. Uh, one is, well, you've got cloud moving rather fast over cloud that remains stationary. And that cloud, well, you see a nice defined small little square or rectangle. can see the geoengineering. Now, where was that video? All right, let me pause you. Well, first, look at what is taking place down in um, Mexico, or I'm sorry, no, this is California, Nevada. All of these clouds underneath are staying stationary while the clouds are racing above them. Um, and you can see all of the microwaves taking place. The ripple, all of these ripples, microwaves. Well, I'm going to end this uh, in just like two minutes, but I'm going to post another video on all of the anomalies that I have been seeing on radar, on satellite, 
and um, just wanted to show you that I saw what appears to be strange flickering going on with these clouds right here. I hope that you can see it on my video. Um, and I just wondered, are they cloud seeding? Is this what we are seeing? Can you see the very white in contrast with the white cloud? Okay, you have them up here in, uh, well, Kansas and Iowa. I think that's Iowa. I found it odd that here we're seeing it only in certain areas, but not in other. Whoops. Not in other areas. So, um, yeah, I'll be posting more on it. You know, it's unfortunate to be <laughs> having to deal with this time when so much has become so unbelievably obvious and um, we have the majority of our fellow Americans who just are refusing to acknowledge that they are at war and uh, well if they can't acknowledge that they're at war that they don't have any fight in them for anything because why should they fight something You know, it's, why should they fight something that just doesn't exist? This was at 4 a.m. 4 a.m. this morning. Geez, I couldn't sleep. I live here. Anderson, South Carolina. I couldn't sleep. What a surprise. <laughs>